Oh my, oh my, grandma, You will rest in peace. So like, I'm literally just in my kitchen and I really want to know how people manage to just stay strong every day for their kids. Like, I am struggling. I am mentally struggling. Just being a single mom and having to do everything on my own. Like, it's draining. It's so emotionally draining. And I try to find the strength every day. But I just don't have it anymore in me. So, yeah, let me know how you guys manage to keep it together every day. Because I have no support no support everybody that told me oh they're gonna be there for me and my kid this and that when is the time for y'all to show up y'all leave and that's what got me up because why like and this is a problem we have today because society has glamorized being a stronger independent woman not needing a man glamorizing single motherhood lifting up and praising the mother who does it all on her own it has convinced many women it has tricked many women it has misinformed many women that they can do it on their own it has misinformed many women that 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 is the normal route that you should take when in actuality that is probably the worst route you could take and unfortunately for so many women out there they only find out after it's too late once the dust has settled and once they are left by themselves to figure things out do they fully understand that it is not as glamorous and as strong as you may think you are and as much as you may love and care about your children, they still need their father. Man, 50 Cent is lucky he dropped 21 questions when he did. Because the way things are looking now, that'll be a horrible song to drop. Let's review the lyrics. If I fell off tomorrow, would you still love me? If I didn't smell so good, would you still hug me? If I got locked up and sentenced to a quarter century, can I count on you to be there to support me mentally? Now, fellas, fellas, I, I need to address this. Sir, stop complaining about taking her on a date or to wherever function, wherever vacation, and she taking pictures of her food and her having a good time and not you. Keep your money in your pocket. <laughs> wait, 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 that's the rule? Oh, shit. Okay. Chaka Papa, he don't like that shit. You better crap me in the picture. Look here. Uh -huh. Don't get on social media talking crazy, none of that. Uh -huh. She got one chance. You take her to dinner, she snap a picture of her food, and just put your little arm in the camera. Keep your money in your pocket, King. Date yourself. Take yourself to, to, to Mexico. Take all the pictures you want. Go to Colombia, Dominican Republic, wherever. Live your life, King. You better learn how to walk away and cut a chick off because if you don't, you're going to be the fool. But this can be a problem with a lot of men because they don't know when to walk away. They don't know when to fold them. They will stay in situations where they should have walked away, where they should have cut the woman off a long time ago. But because of fear of the unknown or because of fear of being alone, they stay in those situations. I'm going to be so absolutely honest with y'all because your mom is not and your friends are not and you're not honest with yourself. I have time today and this is literally a hill that I'm willing to die on. Dating is so trash right now because our world is incredibly self-centered right now. Our world is incredibly selfish right now. And I really, I don't want to hear any arguments about how we're just evolving and growing into these different kinds of people. We've overcorrected. Somehow y'all turn, I need to take care of myself into I need to take care of only me. I need to care about only me. Nobody else matters, which is fine. Cool. That's what you want to do. That's cool. Bet, 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 bet. But hear me though. How do you expect to be in a relationship with another person when being in relationships requires you to care about somebody else? Yeah, that, that's the part that y'all keep getting stuck and lost at. If you don't care about nobody else's wants, needs, and desires, why in the hell will somebody else care about your wants and needs and desires? That's literally how relationships happen. That's how relationships work and thrive. You care about them and they care about you and y'all care about each other. We are so busy hyping each other up on this individualism movement and, and sitting at home single <laughs> and sitting at home wishing that somebody would talk to us and care about us and want us.
Baby, you're single because you don't know how to care for anybody in a non-selfish way. And most other people out here don't know how to care about you in a non-selfish way. And everybody's sitting at home single. But do you. But y'all keep doing you. You keep doing the thing where you only care about yourself and see where that gets us. They're not at Pottery, okay? They're not in my book club. Because they're at the gym. Now, don't go to Planet Fitness trying to find a man. Invest in, like, a nicer gym. Something a little more high class, a little more luxury. But they're there. Plenty of them, too. And they like natural hair. Go to the gym. Can we just acknowledge the fact that she knew nothing about where to find a man? If she's looking for a man at her pottery class or book club, th those are not places that a majority of men tend to frequent rapidly. And if she can't even figure that part out, then she got a whole lot of work to do. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I work three jobs. And dudes are DMing me like, you're beautiful. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right. <laughs> there was a tweet that I saw and it was like, having a roster is literally not in me. People think because you are attractive, you're talking to hella people. Who got time and patience for that? Emmanuel, I need a man's perspective right now. Do most men have rosters or do they not? Most men don't have rosters. Most, a majority of men do not have rosters. And by rosters, I'm not talking about just women who they have conversations with, that they talk to, that they got their number, that they're trying to date. No, a roster is a, a group of women who they can hit up at any given time and they know they're going to be able to smash. Most men on average don't have that type of access easily to sex with women. And this really shouldn't be surprised because most men are found to be unattractive to women from a physical standpoint. Now, can he increase his attractiveness through his personality and through, through his ambitions? Yeah, happens all the time. Through how much money he makes? Of course. Typically, for a man to have a roster, he has to be attractive enough to a broad enough range of women to that when he speaks to enough women, he can pile up the numbers to have that roster. Now, the reason why most women assume men have rosters, because they have a roster. At any given time, they have men who they know that they can hit up if they wanted that type of time, if they were wanted some action. Nobody's coming to save you, big dog. Don't you get that? Your whole life has led to this point because of you. Your shitty decisions, your habits, your poor choices have caused you to end up at this point. The only person, big dog, that's going to get you out of this spot is you. No more excuses. No more coming up with reasons why you can't. Get focused. Get ferocious. Guys, you make today the day that you go out there and make something happen. Simply sitting around, complaining about it, smoking, drinking, doing whatever it is you're doing, but not taking any action will not change your circumstances. Guys, as always, questions, comments, thoughts, and feedback, drop them down below. Appreciate every time you guys take the time to chime in. Don't forget, support the channel by hitting the like and that subscribe button. And as always, until next time.